The American Triangle of Death isn't actually as bad as we think it is. Sure, it produces some forces that we don't really want, but those forces are negated through today's protection being really strong. So for instance, when I pull here in a equilateral triangle, if these are all equal, so we'd have 60 degree angles here, here, and here, then basically I'm getting a singular force coming here. So if I'm pulling 100 pounds here, then I have 100 pounds ending up in this resultant right here. And same with this one, I have 100 pounds pulling right there. So really, we could see ourselves repelling off of a single bolt. In fact, we take whippers onto single bolts. So I'm not really worried about this force pulling in this direction. You can see here I have a diagram. And on this diagram, we can start to see where these forces are in play. This one X is the resultant. And of course, this is the 60 degrees that I'm talking about in the angle of the material. We get 0.6 going up to our pieces of protection. Those 0.6 actually change at this pulley or on this, uh, this bolt and through the carabiner. So the 0.6 actually continues this way. So 0.6 of the force, but that results in one times that force going out this way and pulling opposite of the downward force. So we do have a little bit of multiplication in there. We also, if we start to look at the lower uh, diagram I have here, we have a 90 degree angle. So all of a sudden, this has started to come up and it's now 90 degrees here, creating 90 degrees, 45 and 45. At that, we start to have 1.3x or 1.3 times the amount of force that I have going down. So if I'm using 100 pounds here to pull down, I now have 130. So again, it's not astronomical for how much the bolts can actually hold. So the question was posed also about repelling. What happens when we start to repel? Doesn't that create the American Triangle of Death? Sure, it does. But if we look at it, while it's up here, here is our 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees in our angles. So as we start to come out of that, our forces become less and less and less. And the reason they become less is because this angle starts to get closer and closer and closer together. And we're never gonna put that much force on those bolts. We're probably not clipping right up next to them. This might be something to worry about if we are repelling off of pitons. For instance, in this clip here, we have pitons and they're getting pulled. And you can see they're starting to be pulled inward and all of a sudden, one of them starts to give way. This is what happens with these resultants pulling on the inside of the piece of gear. That's why this older style equipment may not be so suitable for the American Death Triangle. With bolts, I'm not really that worried about it, albeit there are better solutions like just making a master point style anchor.